Right, this is how far we've got so far with the Tessa Turbine Mark IV. Um, so as you can see, it's a much larger turbine. Um, we've got the main case in the two parts here. So this is the main case in the plate at the front um, to seal it. We've got the magnetic coupling. We've got the um, generator here, three-phase generator, which you can't get a DC output from. Um, we've also got the nozzle, and this is what the the nozzle looks like. And basically, there's a hole that goes into the turbine, and this sits like so. Um, at the rear of the turbine, um, you've got what I call an output adapter, which is this part. Um, we're still investigating a few options with regard to the centre bit, but essentially what happens is the exhaust gases are ported out. Um, this has got a very large um, valve on it, uh, one and a half inch uh, fitting on there. Uh, that may be too big for most people. Um, you can have an adapter on there like that. So you can have a half inch in and half inch out. The reason for the large one on this one is um, to maximize efficiency. You also notice that in this configuration that you're actually putting the valve uh, on the outlet. So the idea is that you'd pressurize the system so that, this is going back to some tests I did some years ago, where if you um, have the air flowing through and you, you control the flow going through into the, the turbine, the turbine never fully reaches maximum pressure because you've got sort of restriction on there. So if you have the control on the outlet, what it means is you can shut it off, it, the turbine pressurizes and then you release it, and it means that you've got maximum pressure, maximum laminar flow in the turbine, increasing efficiency. So that's the reason for that, but it's obviously up to you, you could always put a valve on the, uh, on the inlet if you wanted to. Um, we would probably sell this component as an optional extra. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's looking uh, very nice, come along quite well, we've still got a few things to do, uh, need to sort out some of the electronics, uh, we've still got uh, one or two parts on the inside to sort out as well, but a lot of the components are now made. Um, I can show you the inside of um, the turbine. Um, you've probably seen this in other videos and photos that we've been doing. But yeah, you can see there the hole going through and it's basically poured into the inside. So the idea, the idea being that the, the air, the steam, the water, or any hot gases you've got coming through as well, will start around the outside spiral around to the center and then do a 90 degrees turn and exit um, to, the out, to the outside. Um, another thing to point out on the back here we've got, um, this was just a, a last minute alteration, uh, we've got three holes here, these are for mounting, um, so the idea being that you could mount the turbine uh, against something or you could have like a little bit of angle plate and bolt it to um, whatever you wanted to basically. So, um, yeah, that's how things come along. That's just a little update about the progress of the production of the test turbine Mark IV.